Hi Taurus, welcome to your June 2021 reading. So we are going to look at your love, money and luck this month. At the end of the reading, we'll also draw an angel card. You get to ask your angel a question, so be sure to hang around till then, it'll be worth it. Now I've already shuffled the cards for you so we can jump straight in. In your love area this month, you have received the Ten of Pentacles. In your work and money area, you have received the Two of Wands. And in your good luck area, the Ace of Swords. Lovely. Okay, so in your love and relationships area, the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles represents extended family, family fortunes, whether that's health, wealth and emotions. And what it's saying is that tensions are reduced this month because a practical situation is resolved. Now, this may be something around housing. It could be something around finances, work. Maybe um, as a kid, um, a child is leaving home and has got a job or they've got a college placement. So there's a great sense here of tension being relieved. And that's really important to you, Taurus. Whether you're married, single, children, whatever, you know, you're always going to be involved with those that you love and your emotions will go up and down with them. And that's really the recognition here. Higher powers have recognized that about you, which is why they're saying we're looking after those you love because we know that will strengthen you emotionally so that you can go out and do your thing in the world. Because you know what? You could be the most famous pop star in the world and making billions of dollars every year. But if those around you or closest to you that you loved weren't happy, then your mood would completely sink with them. So this month, um, this is a really beautiful card to get in your love and relationships area. So really, they're really saying we're focused more on family, that type of love rather than romantic this month. I don't expect any particular movement in the romantic area for anybody. Okay, so that is your love and relationships area. In your money and work area, you have received the Two of Wands. He's a progression from the Ace of Wands, which is an idea. So there is something that you have enacted. Uh, it may be something you've put out into the world, literally uh, a job, off, a job uh, a resume or a request for a bank loan, or it could be just simply something you've thought about manifesting. You're trying to manifest something. So whatever it is, something comes through for you this month. But if you look at our little man here, he is holding the globe in his hand. And um, actually, do you know what? It reminds me of my own little globe here. And he says, the world is your oyster, Taurus. So whatever good things are happening to you now, build on it. Dream big. That's what this means. So whatever good fortune you're experiencing, really recognize that deep in here and to say, I am fortunate. I'm going, to, um, I'm going to use this as a positive step to move um, even higher. So sometimes it could be just simply that you recognize that you are manifesting things and to recognize that and say, wow, I am quite a powerful manifester. I'm going to build on that. I'm going to dream even bigger. It doesn't, and, and I don't mean go straight to the top here, okay? This is an instru um, incremental thing and you are the earth sign, so we'll do this practically step by step. But you're getting there. And that's what this is saying. So whatever it is you are manifesting, keep manifesting. And this will improve your uh, work, your financial areas, whatever it is, whatever your dream is in that area. So that's a good, um, that's a good instruction in a way for the month of Taurus. Okay, so build on your successes. That um, the next card then is where you're going to experience good luck this month. So the Ace of Swords is represents an idea that comes to you out of the blue. Now, this idea will, you'll know that it isn't you. This is really important thing. If you ever train as a psychic, the first thing they'll try to teach you is how to um, differentiate between your thoughts and thoughts that are put into your head from a higher power. Now, this month, you're not going to have any confusion about it. You could be just driving along, daydreaming, and suddenly a thought, poof, comes out of the blue and you go, hello. It's going to be that sort of feeling. So the real important thing though, Taurus, is to write that thought down, put it on a post-it, put it somewhere that you can remember it because you know how it is. We say, wow, that's really amazing. And then a few days later, we've completely forgotten it. Uh, because it's falling in your luck area, they are saying, listen, wait for the thought, be aware of the thought and act on it. 
Now, just two other little extra things I think that are coming through for this. If you are having surgery this month or any medical procedure is gonna go well, that is falling into your luck area. And also if you are communicating something to the world this month, maybe you are launching a website, a blog, book, a video, um, doing a presentation, whatever it is, that will also go well for you, okay? So, but the main thing is, just look out for that thought, okay, Taurus? So that's your month. It looks like a lovely month, actually, Taurus. Um, now, the final thing we're going to do is you are going to ask your angel a question, but if you could make it a yes or no type of question, okay? So have a little think about the question you would like to ask your angel. Do you have a question? Good. Okay, I'm going to draw a card now for you. They keep trying to jump out, but I'm not going to let that happen. Taurus, we like to do these things in a moderated way. Okay. Here we go. And the answer is let go. Now, this is a general reading, so try to see how that will fit with your question. Sometimes it can be just let go, let it up to higher powers, but see how that goes. Lovely. Okay, so that is your reading for June. It was a pleasure reading for you. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate if you could give me a little like. That will help me. And in the meantime, look after yourself, and I will see you next month. Bye. Bye.